Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lesson one for the commutative property. In page number 26, Libby and Sydney each say her posters has more stickers. Which poster has more stickers? Here we have the Libby's poster and here we have the Sydney's poster. So remember an array shows objects in equal rows and columns. So in, Libby, in Libby's poster, there are four rows. As we can see here, we have four rows. One, two, three, four. With three stickers in each row. Three stickers, one, two, three. Three stickers in each row. So here are two ways to write this. So three, the first group is a three, plus three, plus three, plus three equals to 12. And we can write it as a multiplication, not an addition equation, and a multiplication. So we can say, uh, how many rows do we have? We have four rows, so it means four times. How much in each row? We have a three. It means four times three equals to also 12. While in Sydney's poster, there are how many rows? One, two, three. Three rows uh, with how many stickers? One, two, three, four stickers in each row. So here are two ways to write this. Four, the first group, plus four, plus four, equals to 12. This is the addition, uh, addition equation. And we can say how many rows they are. They are three rows. It means three times, how much in each row? Four, three times four equals also to 12. So also always the first number represent the number of rows and the second number represent how much in each row. So what did this comm uh, commutative property uh, says? Let's read it. So the commutative order property of multiplication says you can multiply numbers in any order and the product is the same. So four times three equals to three times four because both of them equals to 12. So four times three or three times four, both of them are equals because they are equals to 12. For example, in question number four, draw an array and give the product for each fact. So five times two, it means five rows. How much in each row? Two, so one, two. This is the second row, the third row, the fourth row, the fifth row. How many they are five times two? We can add them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five times two equals to 10. And if I want to draw an array for two times five, two rows in each row five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So how much two times five also equals to 10.